If you're hoping to get a second chance with your ex, you need to fundamentally change the way they think about you and your relationship. You need to rewire their brain so that when your ex thinks about you, they think about your positive qualities, how much fun you are, how many great memories you've shared, and how great life is when you're by their side. And in this video, I'll explain why you have to change how your ex thinks about you and how to do so. I'm Brad Browning, of course, YouTube's number one breakup coach and author of the best-selling X Factor program. Before we get into this video, please do me a huge favor and click the like and subscribe buttons to show your support. I really, really appreciate it. Right now, if you've been dumped, or if your ex isn't interested in giving the relationship another shot, then they almost certainly think of you in a negative light. Even if your breakup was totally friendly, and he or she has told you that they still love you, the reality is that your ex just doesn't think of you as someone that they still want to be with. And if your breakup was, was ugly, or you've made a lot of mistakes since the breakup, it's even more likely that he or she sees you as that desperate loser ex. If you want him or her to take you back, then you need to change that. You need to make sure that they think about you in the same way they did when your relationship began, when things were amazing and you were madly in love. If your ex were to feel that way about you again, you know, if thinking about you brought a smile to their face and sent a surge of attraction through their body, then he or she, of course, wouldn't even think twice about getting back together. So really, the key to winning back your ex is to reprogram their subconscious perception of you. You know, you want them to feel like they need you in their life and stimulate that kind of, you know, strong emotion and those feelings of attraction that will overpower logic or reasoning. If you do this properly, then all the reasons that your ex has given you for the breakup will become meaningless or be forgotten completely. We humans are, we're emotional creatures and we're slaves to our sexual and emotional desires. So if you can stimulate those feelings in the back of your ex's mind, then he or she will come crawling back to you asking for another chance. If you think about it, what most people do in your situation is they actually do the complete opposite of what I just described. Most people, and I really can't blame them because it does seem perfectly logical on the surface, they try to convince their ex to take them back. They beg, plead, or just generally reach out to their ex and attempt to do things that they think will change their ex's mind about the breakup. Unfortunately, this almost never works. On the contrary, in fact, most of the time, any attempts to talk with your ex after the breakup will harm your chances and drive him or her even further away. So begging, pleading, apologizing, bribing with gifts, sending love letters, all this kind of thing does is reinforce that image in the back of your ex's mind. The one that makes them think of you in a negative light, as someone whom you know, they wouldn't want their, to be their romantic partner and who isn't what they want in a boyfriend or girlfriend. Now, perhaps the worst example of this is the, um, you know, the serious talks that many couples have in the days and the weeks after their breakup. You probably know what I'm referring to. You know, you and your ex have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You hash out all the problems and issues that plagued your relationship. And you go in circles, revisiting all those issues over and over again without ever really making any progress. Now, this type of talk with your ex is the absolute last thing that you want if you are trying to get back together because it simply reminds them of the reasons for the breakup and brings back the, the resentment, anger, and all those other negative emotions back to the top of their mind. So please don't do this. By now, you know, I think you get the point. Your ex has made his or her decision and you can't say anything to change their mind. Any active attempts to reach out to your ex, especially in the first few weeks, will usually end up backfiring and really making matters worse. So in order to fundamentally rewire your ex's feelings for you and go back to the days when he or she wanted to spend every waking moment with you, you really have to use the strategies that I share in my X Factor program. There are actually a number of things that you can do right now, even if it's only been an hour since the breakup, to begin subtly shifting your ex's feelings and perception of you. Now I'm gonna cover some of the more basic steps that you can take to achieve this shortly, uh, but if you want access to my entire X Factor training course right now, just go to breakupbrad.com and watch my full free tutorial video there. Now in that video, you'll learn more proven psychological techniques that you can use to change your ex's mind, and you can also sign up for a 60-day risk-free trial of my complete X Factor program. Again, that's all at breakupbrad.com. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna share four of the most basic steps that you can take to start rewiring your ex's perception of you and start making them regret the breakup. 
Number one, employ no contact. Now you already know about the 30 day no contact method, but I really have to include it here in this list because it's so important and it's so effective. Simply put, ignoring your ex for a period of time after the breakup can, even on its own, make your ex change his or her mind. Sometimes even enough that they could call you out of the blue and actually ask you to get back together. Really, it's because you're, you're suddenly disappearing after many months or years of daily contact with your ex. And humans are creatures of habit, and sudden changes to daily routines are a huge shock that we don't handle well. So when you disappear suddenly, you know, rather than keeping in touch with your ex or being friends, which allows your ex to gradually get used to life without you, you're essentially shocking them into missing you like mad. And there are many other benefits to this no contact strategy as well, but suffice to say it works and you should employ this technique as soon as possible if you haven't already. Uh, please check the description below the video for a link to another video that I made recently on how to use no contact properly in almost any breakup situation. Number two, pretend like you're totally unaffected by the breakup and that you're moving on to bigger and better things. Now, would you want to be in a relationship with somebody who sits at home alone, crying every night, or somebody who's out having fun and enjoying life? Does knowing someone is heartbroken and struggling to cope with the idea of being single make them more attractive? Well, obviously not. We all want to surround ourselves with awesome people living awesome lives, and your ex is no different. So show him or her by not being emotional about the breakup and by going out and living life to the fullest as soon as possible that you're happily moving on to better things and you won't have a problem replacing your ex with somebody new if they don't smarten up and take you back. Even more than that, getting out there and living your best life, being social, making friends, going on adventures, achieving your career goals, etc. It also gives you a lot of you know, excellent material to share with your ex once you start reconnecting with them again. Number three, use jealousy to your advantage. Now I realize this can be difficult for a lot of people after a breakup. You know, you don't always feel like dating somebody new, especially when you're still fixated on your ex. But it is a very effective tactic if you use it properly because your ex sees you moving on and will immediately wonder if he or she has made a mistake in letting go of such a desirable commodity. I mean, think about it. If you dumped someone and they were, they were soon in a new relationship right thereafter, or at least you know, out dating new people and having no trouble landing a date, wouldn't you assume, you know, at least subconsciously, that they were a great catch? Now you don't have to actually date anyone to make your ex jealous. Um, there are other things that you can do to create mystery and intrigue that will almost certainly cause your ex to wonder what you're doing and who you're with. And that alone generates powerful feelings of jealousy and really does work like magic. And of course, like I said, there are other things that you can do to safely incite a bit of jealousy. I can't cover them all here in this video, so please consider grabbing a copy of my X Factor program at breakupbrad.com if you want more ideas. But I do want to share one quick word of warning about this strategy though. As I do discuss in the program, you need to be careful anytime you're inciting jealousy. Because if your ex actually knows that you're trying to make them jealous, it will backfire in a big way and do some serious damage to your chances. So always be careful and to be really subtle and under the radar anytime you're using jealousy. All right, and finally, number four, send your ex subtle reminders of positive memories and happy times that you shared together. Now this one is pretty simple. Um, you can use the shared history that you have with your ex to remind them of happy memories or make them nostalgic for those, those better days when you were happily together. Now the easiest way to do this is to send them a message after you've completed a period of no contact, of course, that hints at a, a great time you shared together. So for instance, you know, maybe you and your ex spent a magical night out, camped under the stars. Well, in that case, you could send your ex a text saying something like, hey, I'm going back to that incredible desert campsite we stayed at last year. That was such an amazing night, hoping to see another meteor shower. Or you could even just, you know, share an old Facebook post with some photos from an amazing weekend that you spent away with your ex last year. And really, there's no need to add any message beyond something like, hey, this memory just popped up in my timeline. What an awesome weekend. Of course, you'll have to use your imagination a bit here, but the key is really just to force your ex to remember and relive a happy or steamy shared experience that you know will get them feeling nostalgic and help associate the thought of you with happiness and a romantic connection. Okay, that's four things that you can start doing right now, today, to start rewiring how your ex feels about you and your potential future together as a couple. Remember, the key is not to try to convince your ex with words, but rather to show them that they've made a mistake in letting you go. The more you can, you can shift your ex's subconscious perception of you, the closer you will be to getting them back. 
If you need my personal help with your specific situation, you can go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching and see my current coaching availability and sign up today to get started working with me one-on-one. You can also take my free quiz to see your current chances of getting your ex back at breakupbrad.com slash quiz. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your questions in the comments below for me to get back to you. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.